Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious pecan pie with a homemade flaky crust. This is right on time for Thanksgiving. If you haven't made one already, you can follow this tutorial to make one right now. These are all the ingredients for the flaky crust, so pause the video and write it down or look in the description for a link to the recipe. This will take about 30 minutes to prepare, plus another 30 minutes it will have to be in the fridge. Without wasting any time, let's get started! We're going to start by mixing our flour and our salt together. Moving on, I'm taking my vegetable shortening and I'm going to mix it in with the flour and the salt with my fingers until it's a crummy texture. Moving on, I'm going to take my cold butter and I'm going to cut it into little cubes. Now I like to set aside half of the cup butter into the fridge so it can stay nice and cold so I can work with it better. With the first half, I, I take my hand and I flatten out one cube of butter and then I set it in my flour. This will make your pie very flaky. Repeat with the rest of the butter. Once that's done, I'm going to take ice cold water and I'm going to put it in my mixture so that it can turn into a dough. When adding the water, make sure not to play with it too much because you still want those chunks of butter in there. Make sure to, to add the water small amounts at a time because you don't want the dough to have too much water in it. You know it's ready when you take a little piece of dough and you squeeze it in your hand and it stays together. To take it a step further, I'm going to roll out my dough and then I'm going to take one side of it and then I'm going to fold it one third the way there and then I'm going to take the other side and fold it over and I'm going to repeat this multiple times each time in the opposite direction once I repeated that several times I'm going to split the dough in half and I'm going to make little discs out of each of them each of these discs is for one pie crust. Once you're done, I'm going to put each of them into their own bag and I'm going to put one of them in the freezer for up to two months and the other one in the fridge for 30 minutes. This is the recipe for the filling and again, you can copy it and stop the video or I will also leave the link in the description down below. So while our crust is in the fridge, let's make the filling. To start, I'm adding my sugar into the bowl and mixing that in together with my melted butter. Now I'm adding my syrup and my three eggs. Finally, for the most important ingredient, the pecans. Now I'm getting my dough again and I'm going to roll it out into a bigger circle. Then I lay the dough over the pie pan and dump the pecan filling in. First we bake at 375 for 10 minutes. With the extra dough that was left over, I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to take a cup and cut out little circles so that they can be delicious flaky cookies. You can bake these with the pie until they're brown on the top. For the pie, you have to turn down the heat to 350 for 25 more minutes. This is how it looks like half baked. To make the cookie sugary, I like to sprinkle some sugar and some cinnamon on top. And just like that, you can enjoy a nice slice of fresh pie. Special shout out to Aunt Jenny for showing me step by step how to make this delicious crust last year. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and also check out some of my other videos to see how to build things such as this.